Hello, welcome to Map Libre tutorial number nine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display videos on uh, a 3D map. And um, first, go to the LibMap website and uh, on the left side, Map Libre overview. So before I'm going to get into the detail, I want to show you what it looks like. If you open the demos website and uh, scroll down to the bottom here, uh, videos on the map and also another one. So we have two demos in here. I'm going to show you. So the first one is the overlaying uh, drone video and then you can zoom in you can zoom out nice thing you can also rotate uh, so you can see basically the, uh, if you want you can also see the 3d but this is only basically we are overlaying um the uh, the video on top of uh, a set of imagery the second one uh similar we all we have a uh, um, uh, animation showing the uh the weather and overlay on top also the set of imagery so this is from uh, noah uh, the set of imagery and uh, so I'm going to show you step by step how you can create something like this uh, easily. You can also turn the layer on and off uh, if you want to. So similarly, uh, on this one, you can turn the uh, video on and off. And it's super simple, uh, just a couple lines of code, then we can create uh, this kind of animation. So uh, on the left side here, scroll down to the bottom and uh, somewhere here, video on a map. So if you click this one, you can either open this one to run on uh, Google Collab, uh, just like what I introduced. Uh, in the previous video or you can download this one to a computer if you already set it up so uh, for me i'm going to uh, use my oops um uh, local jupyter lab so i'm just going to open jupyter lab and i'm going to show you how to uh, run this uh, noble examples uh, on my local computer and go to docs uh, map Libre, and then uh, video on a map so the uh and let me zoom zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better all right so first you need to uh, import uh, the libraries and once it's imported then we can start running the source code so let's look at this one uh, just explain a little bit here let me remove the uh, image thumbnail so you can see the source code here is pretty simple and straightforward we're going to create an interactive map using a uh, map libre and uh, you can specify the uh, the center the longitude the latitude and also the zoom level uh, bearing and so we're going to use the satellite here you need to get a url so basically the url points to where those videos come from uh, if you want you can copy you can paste the new url on the browser uh, you should be able to see this original uh, video so if you want you can also download this one to your computer and you can put somewhere else uh, if you want to so these two files are the same uh, the mp4 and also the webm uh, the reason that we can provide multiple is to support uh, multiple uh, formats so in different browsers sometimes you might uh, uh, use mp4 sometimes might be using this one so it basically it's a backup and once you provide the url then you also need to specify the coordinates so the coordinates has a total number of four coordinates and uh, here i have description in here from the top left top right bottom right uh, and then also bottom left so basically uh, clockwise uh, from the top left corner and then go all the way clockwise to the bottom left corner and after that all we need to do is just uh, add call the egg video function and then passing the url and also the coordinates and that's it so you can also optionally add the layer control and let's run, run this one and see what it looks like see so now you have this video overlay on top of the satellite imagery and the video can be toggled off using this uh, layer control in here and as i mentioned uh, earlier in the demo you can uh, press the control key on your keyboard and you can rotate it something like this so it's pretty cool and you can clearly see uh, this is the nice drone video uh, it's not really geo reference we are just providing the four coordinates uh, on top of that so this is how easy it is to uh, overlay a video on top you can add multiple videos uh, if you have more videos so this is all streaming uh, on the fly and as you saw in here this is just the satellite uh, base map but you can provide also 3d if you want to the downside is that uh, when you overlay the video on the 3D, it doesn't look um, very smooth, but it certainly works uh, if you want to. So I can just come here, style, change to 3, uh, 3D terrain, and run it. Uh, you see here, it's also rendering, but it's very slow. So the uh, each frame is going to take some time to load, to load up. But right now, if I rotate it and see it this way, I'm not sure if you can notice. Right, so right now it's moving but it's a lot more slower but at least you can see the 3d terrain right so now the video is overlay on top of the 3d terrain it's 
pretty cool i wish it can be a little bit uh smoother but uh i think this is right now for every frame is like uh, doing some kind of calculation so they can overlay on top of the 3d but it's certainly um interesting so this is one way you can do that if you want so you can see the water going up from the um the hill slope in here and it might take some time to load up the next frame but you can see the changes right so right now if i zoom in and zoom out you will see the water going up and down and it's pretty cool so this is one example uh for uh showing the uh animation and let me kind of this one so it's not taking too much memory the second example uh is very similar so we are but this one is using the NOAA's uh weather satellite uh, animation so again like in here and you can turn the layer video on and off and so this is covering um the pacific coast and you can see uh the cloud and uh, the, the storm moving like the hurricanes moving uh along the uh ocean and so we create a map and you specify a center uh latitude a zone longitude and latitude then similarly we have two urls uh pointing to the um the, the file the, the mp4 and also the webm files then you specify the coordinates again the coordinate is clockwise so whatever video that you have it's going to come in here from the um top left corner and then top right um bottom right and then bottom left so it basically is a list of four coordinates and that's it and then you can specify the video and then add the layer control and that's it so then you can turn the layer on off so for this one here the video uh you can customize the name so for example uh in here you can have a layer id so if you want to have a layer id uh you can specify the layer id and then you can give a name for example this is you can say hurricanes and run again so now the layer will turn to uh, hurricanes and, you, and again you can turn it on and off so if this is something you want to do you can customize it so sometimes you might have multiple data layers so if you uh, want to place the the layer on um, before something so for example you have the label you want to place the video beneath the label so then you can specify the before id uh, so in that way uh, it's not blocking other data layers so if this is something you want to customize uh, you can do that uh, as well so once you have this one uh, if you want to for example um export this one to an html uh, you can do that so just like what we cover uh, in the previous video i show you how to um export maps as html file so if you want uh, you can follow this video uh, number six in here tutorial uh, to export this one as html so i'm going to show you briefly here all we need to do is just to map doc to uh, html oops to html okay. html and then you can give a name for example i would say uh, video html and you can uh, give a width and a height um and also you can replace the key or not if you want to put it public then you need to replace the key so by default it's false so i'm going to just and you can open the preview so preview equal to two and then run it uh, it should open this one so take a look so now we have this html file you can run it locally if you want to publish to make uh, publish on the web so make sure you replace the api key so that you are not exposing your private map tyler api key on the internet and this is exactly what i showed you earlier under here these two maps okay so it's super easy and uh, uh fun so you're welcome to uh find out some interesting mp4 on the internet uh, as long as it's public accessible then you can just replace in here and figure out the coordinates uh, and then just call the add video function to uh, replace the video okay so that's all for this uh, video i hope you uh, find it interesting i will see you in the next uh, video Take care. Bye-bye.